Now the problem reads, suppose you are connected, you connected the battery between one and two and charge them up to potential difference V naught. If you then disconnect the battery, the charge will gradually tick off. Show that the voltage across the capacitor changes by this function. And then here we, 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 we define the uh, time constant tau in terms of epsilon naught and sigma. So this should be familiar to you because we did a similar uh, computation when we had our uh, uh, experiment in physics two uh, with uh, using capacitors in direct current circuits. Okay. So recall that the capacitance of this capacitor is equal to Q over B. And by Ohm's law, B is equal to IR. So this is Q over IR. Okay. So the potential difference between the two is V naught. Okay, so from here, we can express the current in terms of the capacitance, Q over R C. So after the battery is removed, the charge from one, the battery has been removed like this. The whatever accumulated charges, the whatever charge accumulates in one of the terminals of the capacitor, will gradually leak, will gradually leak to the other side. So that means there will be a current between terminal one and terminal two, or metal one and metal two. So that current I will now be equal to the derivative of Q with respect to time. Okay. So this gives us, because I is equal to Q over RC, so this is Q over RC. So this is the differential equation in terms of Q with respect to T. Okay. Because what happens here is that from one terminal to the other terminal, so the charge leak off, so that means the charges in one side, in one, for example, will decrease as a function of time. So that means this derivative should be a negative. So the negative sign means that the, ch the charges in one side decreases with time. Remember that a negative derivative pertains to a negative slope. Basically, that's a decrease. So solving this differential equation, we now have dq over q. And this is equal to 1 over rc dt. And then we integrate. So at time equal to zero, the charge of the particle, uh, the charge of the one side is Q naught. Okay. Because remember that charge them up. So it's initially charged. So the charge side, the remaining charge in one of the plates or one of the uh, metal uh, part, uh, metal parts at a certain time t. So this is key. So solving this, we now have uh, this is uh, ln of q over q naught, and this is equal to. Remember, this is negative. Sorry about that. And negative. So we can get T 
of RC. Or we can uh, express this as Q as a function of time equals Q naught times E to the negative T over Since Q is equal to C times V, therefore V is equal to Q over C. Okay, so V as a function of time will be equal to Q as a function of time divided by C, which is equal to Q naught over C times E to the negative tau at T over RC. So we know that this, this capacitor is initially charged with potential difference V0. So that means V0 here would be equal to the initial charge Q0 divided by the capacitance. So remember that for a certain capacitor, the capacitance of that capacitor is the same. Okay, whatever charge builds up, the capacitance remains the same, similar to your resistor. Okay, so therefore this one, this ratio will now be equal to V. So therefore, we can now express V as a function of time to be equal to V naught times E to the negative T over tau, where here we define tau, which is our time constant, to be RC. Okay? And we know that the R for this capacitance is equal to uh, is equal to what? This is equal to that R is epsilon naught over sigma C. So it will now be equal to, so this is multiplied to C, so this is epsilon naught times sigma. This is tau, your time constant, and this is your potential difference as a function. Okay?